Greetings. Welcome to another exciting edition of Faulkner Fixes All. Today, uh, we're going to replace a broken antenna on our 1981 Ford F-150. So, um, the original antenna looked like this, but I've already replaced it once. But the original antenna threads in like so into a little pot metal piece that's under here. If you replace the antenna and you don't find an original one because they cost a million dollars on eBay, you got to use one of these cheap replacement antennas. Cheap is the word. So we'll tell you how to do that. First thing you want to do is break off these little tabs because you're not going to use a round hole. You're using the square thing that's in the Ford. So you take, you snap these off. I said, you snap them off, come right off, they just come right off of there, the other one didn't, there we go. So you break these off, they're on like so, snap them off, and then unthread that a little obviously, actually you take these off, because you're not going to use you're not going to use these two pieces. You will use this little nut though. Save that. Then you pop this bezel cover off carefully. Carefully. Oh, right. Got to take the nut off first. <laughs> there you go. Okay, remember to take that that nut off. Okay, then there's four Phillips screws here. Don't lose those. And then this piece comes off. Now, this piece only this piece only goes on one way. There's a little tab here. Here, I'll show you guys. There's a little square tab there and a little round peg here. And that's so when you put your antenna on, it's sitting level because this is beveled a little bit on the, uh, on the cowl. So if you try to go like this, obviously it won't go on and it'll be all wonky. So it goes on like that. But, okay, so here's what I did earlier when I put the first antenna on. I took this piece and drilled it to a little under half inch, and then I just tapped it half inch coarse. It's not the same threads as this, but it works pretty good. If you drill it, you can just drill through. You don't have to tap it. I just tapped it because I kind of wanted it to seat on there better. Anyway, so that's how you modify that because the original antenna which was superior by the way it went in there and did stuff in there but a mouse chewed it a mouse chewed the wire a long time ago so that's why I replaced that so now we're gonna snip this wire because this antenna is no good obviously it's snapped off and we're gonna tape we're gonna put this through here we're gonna tape this to that and we're gonna pull it through and if all goes well um, it'll work <laughs> All right, so remember, this, this antenna is no good. We're just going to snip it off. Bye-bye. And we're going to put this through here. Put that through there. Put the new nut through there. All this goes through first. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see what's going on. That goes on the top. Actually, this goes on the top. This goes through. Or what's, what's going on here? yeah it goes through like this all right so we know that's good I guess we could have done that the other way anyway so you get this ready that's ready to go in Put it over there and we're gonna tape this to this and then we're gonna feed it through we might put some WD on it I don't know there's a little rubber grommet down in the cowl and that has a tendency to get hung up on it 
And if you can't get this to work, you have to take the cow off this whole section by the windshield. And it's just not very fun. So we're going to try to tape this up. And maybe it'll work. Okay. All right, so let's get you in here. We got this ready to feed through. There is a little grommet underneath there in the firewall. And this is ready. And you broke these off because you're not going to use those because you're not using a round hole. See, these go in and grab this round hole, but you're not using that. And this wouldn't look really good on that. You know, you need the original Ford thing back on there. So that's why you'd re-drill that. Okay, so this is ready. And we're going to go in here and pull it. And hopefully, we'll just feed that in a little bit. Hopefully, or maybe we'll spray it a little too. Hang on a sec. Okay, we sprayed a little WD on there. We're gonna go in and pull this right now. Now I've already took the glove box out, the insert, and I've unhooked it from the radio. And you can't really see, but with factory AC trucks, it's up behind here. So you gotta, you gotta deal with life here. So I'm pulling it. See, look, there it is right there. It's getting stuck on something. It's trying, see, it's moving. And we gotta be gentle here because it's gonna come to that grommet and it's gonna get stuck on the grommet. We're gonna have to pull it through. Okay, no deal. Put you back up here. I need two hands. Okay. We managed to get it by the little plastic grommet. So that's pretty good. Now see here's where the here's where that drilled piece comes in, the piece you've modified or chose not to. Once you get it past the grommet, then you find this little square peg right here. And slip it down and get it back on the square peg. Okay. So we've got it in there. That's where the tap threads come in. It kind of holds it while you're doing all this. This part doesn't fall down in. So you put these in, no brainer. And you got your pegs aligned. You don't want it to be going the wrong way. You want it straight, that little bevel there. 
keeps the antenna kind of straight. Not 100% 90 degree, but you know when the truck's moving around, it's, it's doing what it should do. Okay, you don't put the bezel nut on yet. And those threads that I tapped in there help everything stay. Otherwise that thing would fall down in there. You could probably grab it with the antenna, but you know, it's nice if it just kind of stays in there. We might have to put this camera down. Okay, that one. That one, that one, yeah, it's wobbly, it's loose. We're gonna fix that. And this only goes on one way. See the bevel? Goes like that. Pops on. And I can't remember which one is new. They're probably the same thread. I think it's this one. And then you just Tighten that up a little. Okay, so now we're going to go in and connect it to the radio.